Hello, hello, this is Kat Sapanta, and I just uh, wanted to shoot this quick video for you to show you a really cool tool that I use to edit images and to add quotes to images. Um, I do this for fan pages, so you've probably seen the quotes you know, going around. Well, I create my own. So I will share with you how I do that, and it is with a tool called Be Funky. So I'm going to share my screen. Let's see if you can see it. Yep. So if you go to befunky.com, it's a free photo editor, and you can add effects, you can edit the images, you can add text, any of that. So usually I go here. Right away I go to click Upload. I upload an image from my computer. So let's say I want to... I'll upload this image. So I have this image. It uploads this image. So you see all this stuff on the side here? These are all of your uh, editing options, and there's a lot. So you can resize your photo, you know, especially for Facebook. Um, I forget the dimensions, but you can, you can Google the dimensions for, you know, if you need to make a Facebook cover, profile, or just like a regular photo to share. So that's here. So that's the very top on the left. And uh, but what I do is usually I get, I get this photo, and you can add effects. So these are all effects here. You can make a vintage. You can do anything pretty much. But I'm pretty much just going to show you how I do the quotes. Uh, so I upload the image. And then you see the B here in the box. Go in there. And it'll show you a kind of a list of different fonts to use. So let's say I like spicy rice. Okay. So it shows you this. And this you can move around, right, with your mouse. Click on it. And what I'm going to do is I usually Google a quote. So depending on what I want to, you know, what kind of quote I want to share, I guess. Um, so this is one of my favorites. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Copy that. I'm going to go to the photo editor. Double click here. I'm going to paste it. So there's the quote. And then what you can do is you can click on this color box. And you can change the change the color, make it a little bit easier to read. So let's just make this a little bit easier. And usually I put it in the middle, because that way when it gets shared on Facebook, people will see it. And you know, if it if you find that the text is hard to read because of the background, what you can do as well is you can add a background color. So you can click background color, and you can change the background color. So there. So, I mean, that stands out. You can see that. might not use this normally, but I'm just doing a quick kind of tutorial here. And uh, for whatever reason you decide, you know, maybe you, you want to change the opacity of it and uh, make it centered, right? If you decide you don't like it, you can click this little delete button. Or if you decide you want to change around, before you hit apply, what you can do is if you don't like the font, then you can actually just click on the other fonts and it'll automatically change it for you to kind of show you what it would look like. So see how the font is changing. And then once you find one you like, I'm going to go back to my spicy rice. Once you find one you like, all you do is you hit apply. So now it's applied. And then what I'll do is I'll either add in a website or even the fan page website name. So for now, I'm just going to put Cat and Romeo, which is our website. I'm going to change the color. I'll just put it at the bottom. And I'm just going to apply it. So the one thing is, if you're sharing this image on Facebook, um, Facebook doesn't like too much text taking over the whole image. So Keep it to a minimum. Don't try to, I mean, don't take over the whole thing because uh, it doesn't like having it shared. And then all you do, so once the image is done, if you do want to go in and play around with this, you know, you can take some time and see the effects and stuff, but this is like the fastest that you can do this with quotes. And then what you're going to do is save and share. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to rename the file. So I usually put the date. And you just save it, and that's it. And then when you go in to share it, you just find the file and that's it. So that's uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. And uh, if you have any other questions, you can leave me comments below and connect with me on Facebook and on my fan page. I'll leave the link for you. 
Have an awesome day.